Hey, 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 how's it going? I just noticed there's a uh, Winnie the Pooh or something, I don't know, in the corner there. Uh, <laughs> so today, uh, State of Mind is going to be called uh, Pandemic Holiday. You know, look, in every holidays, all the holidays, you're supposed to have, <clears throat> you know, fun and love and family gathering around, very festive. And then there's another side to that, which is families gathering around. No. <laughs> no, what I mean that in a in a way of maybe you're not getting along with your family, uh, maybe your relationship isn't what it used to be. Um, there could be a lot of things going on. Maybe you're depressed. Maybe you're whatever it is. Uh, and it, it also brings you back to your childhood. I remember when I was when I was a boy. Every Christmas never failed, never failed. I'd get gifts, but they were never good enough for me. I don't know what it was. I'd open the gift and then I'd be upset and I'd sit in the corner and pout. And then unless my dad walked by and then I'd act like I wasn't upset. And then, cause I didn't want him to get upset that I was upset. Um, <laughs> So, you know, it's like, it was like, I don't know wh wh why I had that ugly feeling as a little boy with gifts, but that feeling stayed with me forever. I mean, I had to do some, not, among other things, I had to do some serious, uh, you know, book reading, therapy, uh, self-examination. And can you imagine at 57, I get a gift on Christmas. My kids are having the greatest time and I'm in the corner. <laughs> and I'm like, and Paula would be like, honey, what are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. I'm fine. Uh, no, you got you can't stop working on it, man. Uh, it's just not it's not good. So you look, the pandemic is uh, it's been it's tough. It's tough. It's very tough. And I gotta say, and then you add mental illness to the equation, and it's just it it. It's way worse. Um, so what do we do? Uh, you know, I, I one thing I've missed, just a, out of the blue here, I, I have missed going to restaurants and having that, that connection, socializing. And trust me, I'm, I'm really good at staying in bed just watching... TV or General Hospital or whatever, but uh, <laughs> but I do miss that connection with people, a hug here, a hug there, laughing. Thank God for General Hospital. I still have my job. Um, you know, because we when that stuff is taken away from you, as we all know, it gets in your psyche. <laughs> So what do we do? What do what do we do to you know figure that out? Um, I'm gonna tell you what what I think I think if if you've been watching State of Mind from the beginning, you know that I've talked about um, gears, gears like in cars, where fifth gear is bad, fourth is you know, and then third, third, and and let me tell you. You never, ever want to get to fifth. I was in fifth months ago. And um, you got to do everything you can do to see the triggers, to, to feel it coming, to not allow yourself to go to fourth, much less fifth. And... You know, I mean, look, how you stay in, 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 what you want to do is stay in first and second gear. 
if you get to third, you're not, it's not, you know, but you got to figure out not to get to fourth. You just stay in third or go back to second. Um, and the way, you know, I've done that in my, uh, in my life is listen to your gut, listen to your triggers. You know, I mean, obviously professional help, meditation, exercise, always stay in the moment. Cause I find, I'm, I'm gonna jump out of this right now for a second. Um, one thing I've, I've learned through everything that I've been through, especially lately, is it's all about what's here. And if you, you know, like, I remember six months ago going out to see Buddy the Goat and all the animals, and I couldn't really see them. I mean, they were there, but I couldn't really see them. And now I go out and they're so clear that like, I see every movement. I When they walk, I can see. So that's the difference of not being in the moment and being in the moment. So it's very important to, to stay out of those thoughts, those negative thoughts, and um, especially during this time of, because there's a lot of things now that will make you not stay in the moment. And don't listen to, I mean, listen to what you have to listen to, but don't let it take you out of here. Whew. Wow. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, someone said that the, the pandemic, the coronavirus, was God's way of teaching the world Oh man, I got emotional right there. Okay, um, let me try that again. Someone said that the coronavirus, the pandemic was God's way of teaching the world a valuable lesson. And the, what the lesson was, never stop appreciating what you have. And that's so, so important. Everything could be lost in one, one second. All right. Um, Thank you for this. I think I needed it. And uh, I'll see you next week.